Today we have an exciting video. In case you've been living under a rock, there are quite a few countries interested in landing a spacecraft on the moon these days, for various reasons of course, and recently India has landed theirs. Yay! Some background details, the spacecraft is called Chandrayaan-3, it's the third lunar spacecraft developed by the Indian Space Research Organization, and it has a few purposes, including finding the source of H2O in the form of ice. I've literally heard this all over the news lately, and I'm glad India was able to do this for the progress of science. Eventually we hope to turn the moon into a refueling base of some sort, so any step towards that is a step towards conquering the solar system. Anyway, as impressive as this is, you know who definitely isn't having any of it? Yep, that's right, the Flat Earthers. That's expected though, and even welcomed in some ways, because in addition to celebrating scientific progress, we can also make fun of Flat Earthers at the same time. It's a two birds, one stone situation. Currently, only two engines are now being fired, and uh, we are nearly at zero velocity vertical and horizontal we are we were hovering and now we are approaching the moon surface ji ha aap apne screen pe dekh sakte hain ki hum lander module all right y'all are you ready to break down this nonsense Ready or not, here we go. First things first, uh, what we see on the screen is computer generated. It is not real. It doesn't even look real. I hope nobody believes that that is an actual spacecraft landing on the moon. What? You're just going to denounce it as fake with absolutely no evidence? The only thing you really said is, it doesn't look real, which I always find to be absolutely hilarious. We have so much good CGI these days that movies look incredibly real, and you're telling me that they decided to not use that CGI in footage like this? Hell, they could have made it feel like we're actually there with the spacecraft. See, look, it's because it looks so grainy and low quality that we know it's real. Anyway, if you could provide some actual evidence for your claim about the footage being fake, that'd be appreciated. Must be easy being a flat earther, huh? You can just claim anything is fake whenever you please. Whenever a piece of evidence comes up that you don't like, fake. That's definitely a computer graphic. So a computer graphic is not evidence of anything landing on the moon at all. So we can take this computer graphic and we can throw it out immediately. Excuse me, sir. Any piece of evidence that's computer graphic would be much appreciated. Next, they show us a room full of people clapping and cheering. However, people clapping and cheering does not prove that anything landed on the moon. So we can take this footage and we can throw it out as well. Yeah, but a clip of the scientists clapping and cheering isn't meant to be evidence. You're looking at this live stream and you're thinking this was created with the purpose of trying to convince flat earthers that space is real, but that's not the case. This is for people with at least three brain cells. We already know the earth is round and the moon is outside of the earth in space. We're going to move on with our scientific research. We're not here to appease you flat earthers. There's work to be done, so let's let the adults do their thing. So if you're looking for actual evidence that India landed a spacecraft on the moon, this is about the best that you're gonna find. And it's pretty terrible. I mean, look at it. This grainy crap in the background is supposed to be the moon. And don't you just love how they always have an obstructed view? I mean, it's 2023 and nobody can figure out how to mount a camera so that you can get a clear view of the moon landing. No, you always have to have a panel in the way blocking like half the shot. You have some sort of instrument obstructing the view always. What? Again, like I mentioned before, if they wanted to fake footage, they would just make it as high quality as possible. That includes the image of the moon and things that potentially obstruct the view. With today's technology, anything is possible with CGI, so you'd think they make it as good of a footage as possible, especially if they're trying to fake things and convince people that space is real. Second of all, if you want to complain about a solar panel obstructing the view, then feel free to look up other images of the moon, you know, ones we've taken without solar panels in the way. Oh, but that's fake too, isn't it? So it doesn't matter what we show you with or without solar panels, you would just say the same thing regardless. Of this. There's no appeasing you flat earthers, is there? But that's fine, it's not like we're here with the objective to convince you of anything. You already make a mockery out of yourself, so no need to add insult to injury. And you have to ask yourself, is this something that could be faked? Yes. Does the government have incentive to fake space travel? Yes. So therefore, in my opinion, this is 100% fake, so therefore we can throw this out as evidence as well. 
That is most definitely not evidence. First of all, you're saying the Indian government has incentive to fake this, which they really don't. This brings up the whole idea about foreign governments because you're very used to talking about just the American government, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, for the sake of argument, let's say they do have incentive to fake. That's still not evidence that it's fake. Just because it could be done and there's incentive to do so does not mean it was done. If person A has reason to murder person B and could do it, that doesn't mean person A did or will do it. You need much more than that to be considered evidence. So the official story, according to all the government space agencies, is that NASA in 1969 through 1972 was able to put men on the moon and not only that, they drove around in moon buggies and also played golf. Yes indeed, there was some golf played on the moon. Each astronaut at the time was allowed to bring a certain amount of personal items, in which Alan Shepard of Apollo 14 took a club and two golf balls. I don't know why that's so hard to believe, you literally only need those two items to play golf on the moon, unless you want to construct a golf course of course. Now, here we are in 2023, and none of the government space agencies can put a man on the moon. They can only send unmanned rockets to the moon. Oh, don't worry, that'll be happening soon. NASA already has plans to send astronauts back to the moon. And when that happens, I'm sure you'll be right back here complaining about it, because you'll just keep moving that goalpost, which has no end destination. You bet that once humans do return to the moon, I'll be back making fun of Flat Earthers again. It's amazing to me that NASA comes out and admits that they don't know how to put a man on the moon today in 2023 and they lost and destroyed that technology and it's a painful process to build it back again. Okay, let's make something clear. First of all, there hasn't been good incentive to put people back on the moon for a good number of reasons. Now, if we could make measurable scientific progress this way that otherwise would be impossible with a manless craft, then that's a different story. In addition, NASA has shrank in size since the last manned moon landing mission, and the costs simply don't justify it. But of course, like I mentioned, NASA did mention we'll be back on the moon soon enough, as early as 2025, so I'll see you there. Second of all, I like how you just randomly turned this against NASA and the US government. This news that has been happening recently about landing a spacecraft on the moon's south pole, that's India's space program we're talking about. It has absolutely nothing to do with NASA or the United States. The thing is, you flat earthers are always talking about NASA this, NASA that. But one thing I've always asked but never got an answer to is, assuming the Earth truly is flat, why do other countries even participate in the lie? Because it's not just the United States, but tons of other countries in the world have space programs, including India. And they all say the exact same thing, that the Earth is round, that space is real, etc, etc. So tell me, what incentive do other countries have to follow along with this, quote, lie that NASA started? How come everything that all other countries say are consistent with each other even to the minute detail? You only sit within your realms of NASA 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 but have never bothered wondering about space organizations outside of NASA which is why you decided to pathetically sit within your own little comfort zone and when news about an Indian space program came out you came right back to NASA. I mean it's not like you need anything more to make yourself look more stupid. You're already at rock bottom already after all. Anyway this is just a fun little side thing that happened. Of course the focus of the stories should definitely be on the Indian space research organization for their huge achievement. Being the only lunar spacecraft that landed near the South Pole and climbing back from their previous space mission which failed, this is truly something we should all be celebrating. Thank you to all my lovely patrons, Fireshard, Alan Morton, Miss Fixit, Rick Klen, and Brownmanium. I'll see you later.